Jenny was feeling helpless after her daughter was kidnapped and she was not able to find her, Netflix is in from the cold, will blow your mind as you witness the struggles and problems the single mother has to face, after stepping back into her past and brushing up on her skills as a former spy for her daughter's sake. In episode 7 of Netflix's thriller series In From The Cold, Jenny suddenly finds her daughter has gone missing, kidnapped by someone. In addition, she is hurt after realizing that Chauncey was lying to her about everything. He had kept an eye on all her activities by cleverly implanting a camera in her eyes. Chauncey, you motherfucker! Being a good mother, her worst nightmare has come true, her daughter has disappeared and may be in pain or danger. So naturally, Jenny leaves no stone unturned to get a hint about her daughter's whereabouts but finds none. Jenny feels betrayed and helpless at this point in the series even as she broods about other hidden secrets being kept from her. I don't have two sons, I have one daughter. Please. Who does Jenny call in the season finale, it is revealed that Svetlana is working with Felipe, with the latter planning on assassinating the Spanish prime minister. Where's my daughter? Recognizing her old subordinate, Svetlana kidnaps Jenny's daughter in order to entrap the mother. Our heroine then goes on a rampage and, thinking Felipe kidnapped her daughter, kills the evil tycoon and his brother. Jenny, where are you? Forget about me. When Jenny finally confronts Svetlana, a vicious battle ensues, which the mother finally wins and Svetlana lays dead. We are then taken one month on and see Chauncey and Jenny in the same house while Becca spends time with her father. The CIA agent, now reinstated after being blacklisted, and former Russian spy chat for some time, and it is revealed that Jenny must continue working for the CIA as she has proven herself too valuable to the agency. That night, once Chauncey has fallen asleep, Jenny sneaks out of the house and goes into a nearby shed. Once inside, she pulls out a hidden radio receiver and begins speaking in Russian, saying that everything is going according to plan. And so, just before it's close, the in from the cold season finale throws all the pieces into the air. Use that to close me up. What? The fact that Jenny speaks in Russian and says that everything is going according to plan clearly indicates where her loyalties lie. Though we don't know who she is talking to, Jenny refers to herself by her spy name, Agent Anya Petrova, telling us that she has contacted Russian intelligence. Agent Anya Petrova. Of course, this ties in with her recent conversation with Chauncey, where the latter says that Jenny is now too valuable to the CIA and will continue to work with the agency. Thus, it seems like Agent Anya, despite having lived as an American civilian for 20 years and even having a family, has not abandoned her undercover status and has now achieved the impossible, infiltrating the CIA. In the wake of being at chances with one another for a critical part of the account, Jenny and Chauncey become improbable partners and are seen kissing in the season's end minutes. The CIA employable demonstrates he truly focuses on Jenny by over and again placing himself in danger to save her and her little girl, Becca. That being said, the way that Chauncey and Jenny's expert relationship is based on the previous coercing the last option stays a significant disputed matter between the two. Did I stutter? Well, speaking of Indeed, even eventually, Jenny muses how everybody is currently free with the exception of her. Since the CIA realizes that she is a previous Russian covert operative and can send her to jail for something very similar, she is compelled to do as they order. As terrible as Chauncey feels about the office taking advantage of Jenny, there is no way around it. Nonetheless, he is clearly drawn to the hero also. Obviously, what Chauncey and the CIA don't know is that Jenny is as yet a functioning Russian specialist under her previous moniker Anya Petrova. Subsequently, the sentiment is by all accounts very uneven, with the CIA specialist really enamored with Jenny, yet the last option just utilizing him to keep up appearances and penetrate the CIA while working as a spy.